Hi, my name is Rob Winter and I'm a digital systems engineer with Syscat. This presentation is about digital transformation using simulation in a project lifecycle. In this presentation, we will review an introduction to process simulation modeling, the role of process simulation in a project lifecycle, the status quo of process simulation, digital transformation in design and operations, the future use of process simulation, examples of process simulation digital twins, and conclusions. Process modeling and simulation first emerged in the 1970s and has ever since played an increasingly important role within every phase of a process plant life cycle. Today, it is possible to model and simulate very extensive processes with complex behavior, chemistry and thermodynamics in steady state and dynamic operation. This is a simplified representation of a simulation system, highlighting the key differences between simulation of steady state and dynamic capabilities. The process simulation model follows typical stages of process plant life cycle and uses as shown here. In feasibility, the model is relatively simple and can provide insight into mass energy balance and process design. As you progress, the model becomes more complex. Dynamics can be incorporated at later stages of the design, testing and communications for process control, equipment and pipe sizing, nameplate capacity validation, etc. Once in operation, you have a digital twin of your process plan, providing visualization for operating analytics, model predictive control, production reagent accounting, energy and carbon emission, improvement and optimization. Process digital twins are useful in maintenance planning for prioritization of work orders. That is, I have this much maintenance, time, budget and people available. What is the maintenance work orders that gives the greatest benefits? Simulation and analytics can support making such decisions. As you move into expansion, a model can form the backbone of your impact study and provide stakeholder confidence that you have solid understanding of your processes. This life cycle process is of course circular as your operation evolves and changes. For this presentation, we will group the process simulation life cycle phases into design and operations. The status quo of simulation in design. Process engineers use process simulation modeling to establish mass and energy balance, which is used to write the process design criteria for the project. A subset of the process design criteria is typically used by the design team to create process flow diagrams with stream data and equipment data sheets. Multiple data recapturing often results in a low level of efficiency and many introduce errors or design misalignment between the process models and design documents. The process simulation database and models are typically used for design only and are not a contractual deliverable from design to operations. The status quo of simulation in operations. Operations use process simulation to better understand their process, identify bottlenecks, metal accounting, improve reagent usage, and find opportunities to optimize and better maintain their process plant. After some initial optimization and process improvements, these models are often not maintained to match the real world operations and with staff turnover often results in diminished use of process simulation systems. Digital transformation in design and operations. We are seeing significant transformations occurring in design and operations. EPCs are increasingly adopting holistic build information modeling or BIM, data-centric systems to design assets during design phases of a process plant lifecycle. 
Meanwhile, operations are adopting Industry 4.0 and digital twin systems. These digital technologies intersect and mirror the real world, as shown here in this figure from Dechima and ProcessNet. Data transition from design to operations. The intersection shown in the figure on the previous slide represents a requirement for data transition from design systems to operation systems, which is often not well understood. In many cases, these systems are not the same systems or data sets and requires transformation. During this transformation, design systems data is cleaned of redundant or design only data, and the data is transitioned to support the operation systems. Some examples of this transition from design to operations is shown here. The future use of simulation in design. It is envisaged that the process simulation system will form part of the holistic data centric BIM, and the process design data will be easily accessed and integrated with other design systems. In this way, the relevant process data will require less recapturing into multiple systems, resulting in more efficient and consistent quality of the process design data. Furthermore, the as design simulation database and models from the design phase will be a contractual deliverable to operations. The future use of simulation in operations. With improved modeling platform integration tools, APIs, and user-friendly plug-and-play software development, it is anticipated that the integration between real-world plant data from historians and plant site digital twins will provide decision support tools for operations. These simulation decision support tools will be accessible by the full operations team and will provide access to applications, dashboards, reports, and analytics to better plan and manage the process disruptions, thereby achieving improved production and maintenance of the process plant. This example of a digital twin provides operations with an asset utilization and planning system. The requirement of this process digital twin was to provide asset availability visualization to the operations team, to simulate scenarios for decision support and planning and scheduling maintenance, as well as select alternate operations during plant and asset disruptions. Example two of a digital twin provides carbon footprint visualization. Integrating renewable power systems with a process digital twin provides operations with a holistic visualization of their plant energy consumption and carbon footprint. This knowledge allows for a better understanding and identification of opportunities to maximize decarbonation efforts. In this digital twin solution, energy usage input data is taken from various real world operation sources. Operations teams can run scenarios for op optimal heat recovery, pinch point analysis, and other energy saving and decarbonization opportunities. Example three, a dry laboratory example. This example is based on a paper from Gobani et al. Repurposing legacy metallurgical data, a move towards dry laboratories and data bank. The availability of integrated laboratory data, including transformation of historical assays, would enable the shift to a dry laboratory environment as a future-oriented approach, where process optimization is performed within a digital twin backed by laboratory confirmed data. This example shows lab data taken from historical assays, wet lab assays, and online analyzers forming a digital thread. The dry lab digital twin allows for a better understanding and visualization of process chemistry across the mineral process value chain, allowing for improved optimization of the process. In this figure, we see what industry 4.0 and digital twins 
look like in operations. We have Industry 3.0 systems, which is our site-wide integrated control system or automation. With Industry 4 technologies, the nine technologies being introduced into operations, simulation being one of these, and using that simulation to provide digital twins using SysCAD, Process Digital Twin, or Asset Digital Twins using integrated 3D plant visualization and maintenance systems. So, in conclusion, the use of process simulation tools such as SysCAD is historically well established in the design phases of a process plant lifecycle and has achieved some level in operations. The earlier process simulation is adopted, the greater the quality of simulation models for transition from design to use as process digital twins in operations. The more integrated these systems, together with emerging digital technologies, the more value will be gained with the use throughout the design and operations phases. Major EPCs are adopting holistic data-centric BIM systems, which include process simulation, and are offering their client services to implement Industry 4.0 and digital twins for their operations. SysCAD is a, as a simulation system and services provider, is working with several of our key clients to implement micro high fidelity and macro low fidelity Fidelity process digital twin models for their operations teams to use in their operations. Consultants such as Metallurgical Systems are using their process simulation engine to implement process digital twins for clients, including their branded analytics and visualization applications. Thank you for watching my presentation. Please feel free to email me any questions that you may have.